So when I was a kid, my uh, cousin showed me this trick and uh, it just drove me nuts because I couldn't figure out how this thing works. So basically I have this uh, toothpick and um, basically it's just jumping off this longer toothpick and uh, you're just wondering why I'm showing you this trick. Well, it has a lot to do with the uh, barrel and uh, whiplash and vibration and and uh, standing ways. So imagine the long stick is your barrel and the short stick is the bullet. And as you can see, I'm really not moving the barrel at all or the long uh, toothpick. But yet, this little toothpick here that represents the bullet is jumping around. You think you're trying to you know, scratch your head and try to figure this thing out and it's like, wow, what's happening? Why is this little uh, toothpick, in this case, our uh, bullet is just jumping around um, when I'm really not moving anything at all. So can you really tell like this vibration in this barrel? I don't think you can see any vibration in this barrel at all, but yet it is jumping around. So how is that possible? Why is this bullet just jumping around? Well, I'm going to show you a secret and it's very related to what's happening inside the barrel. So what's happening is with the longer stick, what I'm doing is pushing my fingernail against the stick and then moving it up. And when I'm doing that, it's causing some vibration in the longer stick, right? So that, that friction is causing the longer stick to vibrate, which you can't really see. And uh, it's causing this shorter stick to jump around like crazy. So try this trick on your kids and, uh, uh, you know, they'll be amazed uh, to see uh, why this thing is, you know, jumping around. So, yeah, it's very related to your, uh, you know, your rifle with all those uh, standing ways and vibrations that you can't see. It's causing the bullets to jump around and make your groups uh, your group size uh, larger. Amazing.